In this video, I will be creating a scratch game in 1 minute, 10 minutes and an hour. So let's start. Let's see how a 1 minute game looks like. Let's start the timer. Delete scratch cat. I'm going to create a circle like this. Resize. Then for the bullets, I'm going to make another circle. I don't have time. And then, then in the player sprite, I'm going to do forever. Create clone of myself. Wait one second, I'm going to change this to sprite 2. Then in this, when I start as a clone, show, go to mouse, go to sprite 1. Point towards mouse pointer and forever. And then in sprite 1, I'm going to do if mouse down. We'll do that. I'm just going to remove this. I'm going Actually, I'm going to put this to point 3. And the time is up so here is the final game wow now let's see where 10 minutes can get us first i'm going to create the player sprite something like this increase outline then add arms like this and then let's just add a simple gun like this i just adjust this a bit and yeah here is the 10 minute game player now for some movement i'll do when green flag clicked forever change x by d minus a put it here then change y by w minus s so basically this is just for some movement as you can see it's moving very slow i'm going to multiply it by five much better also let's do point towards mouse pointer and yeah it feels so much better now seven minutes remaining now let's concentrate on the bullets i'm going to create a new sprite i'll make a simple bullet like this I'll just decrease the outline and then here let's do when green flag clicked forever if mouse down create clone of sprite 2 which is the bullet and wait 0.1 seconds then here i'm going to do when i start as a clone show when green flag clicked hide then i'm going to go to sprite one which is a player then i'm going to point towards mouse pointer and then forever move 10 steps if touching edge he'll delete this clone and yeah it's shooting from his head i'll just put a move 10 steps here still not it something's off oh wait, wait let me put it below this okay I'll set the size to 75%. I'll just adjust this value a bit. And then I'm just going to go to backlit. And now that's proper shooting. With 5 minutes left, I'll try to add enemies. So what I'm going to do is create new sprite. Copy this, paste this, and just remove the gun. I'll just change the color a bit. Something like this. Or like this. This is good. Now I'll do when green flag clicked, hide, forever, wait 1.5 seconds, then create clone of myself. When I start as a clone, show, go to random position, forever, point towards sprite 1 which is the player. Then let's just move 3 steps and as you can see every 1.5 seconds an enemy spawns. I'm going to change it to something like 2 and whenever the bullet touches the enemy it should die so I'll do if. If touching sprite 2, wait 0 seconds, delete this clone, this is for bullet collision. Then I'll drag the same thing in the bullet sprite. And then in this I'm going to do if touching sprite 3. Wait 0 seconds then delete this clone. And that works. What can I do with 3 minutes? I'm going to make the player much smaller. Even the enemy and the bullet as well. I'll also make it so that the player dies whenever it touches the enemy. So when green flag clicked forever. If touching sprite 3 the enemy. We'll just do stop all. Now whenever we touch the enemy the game stops. Now I'll try adding a live system to the enemy. Create new variable called lives. For this sprite only. We'll set it to 0. Okay what am I doing? We'll set it to 3 here. Then here we'll change lives by minus 1. Then we'll check if lives is less than 1. We'll just delete this clone. And that works. I'm also going to set the brightness effect to something like 20 here. Wait 0 0.05 seconds. And then set it back to 0. I'm going to change it to 45. And that looks much better. With about 40 seconds remaining, I'll add a background. Let's make it green. 4, 3, 2, 1. And this is the 10 minute game. Now let's see how the final 1 hour game looks like. Starting the timer. So for the player, I'm just going to make the normal circle. I'm going to make it something like blue. And then some arms like this. Then maybe a gun like this. I'll also add some gradient to the gun. Maybe something like this will do. I'll just increase the outline of the overall player. Looks much better. And then maybe we can draw some eyes for the player. I'll add one eye here and then another one here. We'll center them. Let's just increase the outline a bit. Okay, so here is the one hour player. Now I'm going to do the similar movement script. But this time it's going to be smooth. A few moments later. Like this. As you can see the movement is smooth. I'm just going to make it a bit slower. And yeah, that's much better. Here I'm going to set the size to 75. And then let's rename this to player. I'll create a new sprite for the bullets. This time I'm going to make a circular bullet. Like this. And it's basically the same bullet script as last time. And here you go. This is the shooting. I spent about 10 minutes in this. 
now for the enemy i'm just going to copy paste this player and then paste it and then i'm just going to change the color to something like red so then when green flag click hide forever wait two seconds create clone of myself then when i start as a clone show then i'll set size to 75 percent like the player and now instead of going to a random position i wanted to choose one of these sides and spawn from there so for this i'm going to create a new block called choose random side and then a new variable called side and then i'm going to set the side to pick random one to four then i'll check if then else so if side is equal to one i'll make it go to the right side so it's like go to x 240 and then y pick random minus 180 to 180 else if the side is 2 i wanted to go to the left side so i'm going to do minus 240 and then y minus 180 to 180 so i'm just going to do the same thing for the up and down as well like this and then i'm going to put choose random side here forever point towards player then move something like three steps as you can see it comes here now i'll do when i start as a clone forever wait zero seconds wait i forgot to put in if then i'll check if touching bullet then i'll just delete this clone same for the bullet now i'll add a live system and that brightness effect thing like this and that actually looks really good i'm also going to use this grass texture as the background does it look good now you might be bored so let me sum it up for you I added a new type of enemy and a score system. I also added a new gun called the fast gun which can be collected through a weapon box. I also gave a time limit of 10 seconds for using that gun and that is represented by a time bar which is created using a pen extension. With the remaining time I had I made a live system for the player. Sadly I didn't have enough time to make a game over screen. Anyways here is the final product of the 1 hour game. Enjoy. You can play this game using the link in the description. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. To subscribe to my channel, make sure to click the secret link in the description. GTA.